In this session, we'll check out how to create an AI-powered application based on inspiration from built apps. You will see how to do simple reverse engineering so you can recreate applications for your own needs. And to test this out, we will build a text to 3D model generator using Next.js, all with just a few prompts. First thing I will do is that I will head to tailwindcss.com page and there I will find a guide for installing with Next.js. Why I'm doing this is because I'm curious about this command and I want to make sure I will have the most up-to-date Tailwind version. Now I will go to IDE, I'm using cursor and there I will paste the command. As I'm already in the folder where I want my project to be created, I will put there a dot instead of a new name, otherwise it will create a new folder. Now I will proceed. I would like to use Tailwind, no to source directory, no to TurboPack, no to Elias. It will get installed and we will be ready to put there our first prompt and start creating our application. I will create there a new file with prompts where I will just be saving them because we will be going through them and it's just for me, you don't need to create this text file here. And before we get to the first prompt, how did I even found the prompt in the first place? And Basically what I did is that I listed through the v0 community applications and I found this one, 3D model generator. I found that this is powered by Hyper3D Rodin and I tried to generate the model and it was working. So then I started to think, well, there must be an API key that is making this work and also is for free. And that is true. If we will go, meanwhile, it's generated to the code and we will check the API routes, Rodin one, and there we can see the API key is wipe coding, which is a public API key that we can use for testing, that you can use for testing. I was like, yeah, let's create this application, uh, share it with you. Oh, so you can also try and have fun with this one. Hopefully this will work for some time and uh, it won't be revoked by the time I will publish this. Now it's still generating the get object. It will probably take some time, but I think it's around one minute usually. Meanwhile, I will show you how you can get a similar application. What we will do now is some kind of reverse engineering. So we have that working application and we would like to recreate this. So we will ask for a prompt that will generate me a similar application like this one. And V0 will just check the code base and will send us the prompt that we will now go through and that we will build with. There is also the second way and that counts with us not being aware of any application that exists in some community page or so and it will just rely on our idea. So let's say we have an idea to build 3D model generator. By the way, there is our cat, so we can even download it or just uh, generate another model. And the second option is to just do a research or some kind of brainstorming with AI. Of course, you can also do it on your own. If you are down for just Googling your way through this, probably if you are already using AI, it's just easier to prompt. I would put there a prompt. I would like to create a 3D model generator with Next.js. Please tell me options I have for displaying the model and API that will generate the model based on text. This is a core functionality. We need to generate the model and we need to display it to the user. All the other things around like input box, navigation bar, maybe some subscription, maybe subscription based model and everything else can be done later with AI. After we will send this prompt to chat GPT or anywhere else, maybe even in the cursor, if you open the chat, it really doesn't matter, just any AI. It will help you to brainstorm and do some kind of an architecture for your application. Now we have there displaying the 3D model in Next.js and we have their API to generate 3D models. I already went through this and I found some nice providers for this generation, but yeah, all of them are of course paid services. So then you would need to look for the cheapest one or maybe for some best ratio price to value. And if you want to do a SaaS with this, then you would need to count how you would need to price it in order to be in some profit. But the core functionality generate the model with just a text prompt is there. Now we have there some options, but as I already mentioned, I found this idea on V0 and this was the second way in case you didn't find the idea anywhere and you are doing something on your own. Or maybe you want to recreate this with a different stack. Now let's go for the first prompt. 
So I want to create a Next.js application that will allow users to generate 3D models from text prompts or uploaded images using the Hyper3 Rodin API. Then we will mention the following features and components. For the core functionality, we want text prompts to generate 3D models, image uploads that we will then use for generating 3D models. We want some options including quality settings, file format selection and so on. Then mainly we want to display the generated 3D model in an interactive viewer so we can move it 360 and so on. And we want to allow downloading of the final 3D model. From the technical side, we want a Next.js application with a browser and TypeScript. We want React Tree Fiber for 3D model rendering, API routes to proxy requests to the Hyper 3D Rodin API, ChatCN components. Also, we want to implement validation with React Hook Form and Zot and responsive design. For the UI components, we want the main input area with text input field, image upload button, settings options button, and submit button. For a 3D viewer, we want to display a placeholder while there will be a loading state while generating. We want to display the final 3D model and we want to have a clean black background. There will be some options for the settings, status indicators, API integration that we got from V0. We won't have that much luxury if we just brainstorm the idea and we would prompt it by ourselves. This is something that AI would need to figure out. But as we already saw the application and we reverse engineered it with a prompt, this is some helpful point that will help to have a really similar output. Then I will also mention something about the design. So the application should have a sleek minimalist design with a dark theme, monospace fonts and the focus on a 3D model displaying. That should be the main part. Then we can run this prompt and we can see what will be the output. I will send it in cursor to implement this. Then it will first offer me to create a Next.js application, which I will skip because we already have a Next.js application. Then I will accept some commands I need to accept. Took like two minutes. It's done and we will check the API routes. I will go for Rodin and then I can find that it is using the Rodin API key that I don't have yet. So I will go to config. I can see that it's properly set there and it's pointing on a NF file, Rodin API key. Otherwise, you can also define it here, but I don't recommend it. Let's keep it in .nf file. Let's create a new one, new file, .nf. There we need to create a variable called Rodin API key. And the value there will be wipe coding, which is a public API key we can use for free to test this out. Now I will do npm run dev. It will open the page and there I can finally test this. First, I will generate a MacBook. So let's try it. Some little design tweaks needs to be done later. As you can see now, the text is too dark for this input box. But let's start generating. It will first initialize AI and then it will need to go through some steps there on the Rodin site. So we can see there the process, then it took like one minute. And there we have the output. Well, the quality is not the best for testing. I think it's OK, but let's try something different. I will now upload an image that I generated. And then you can see the 3D character is really similar to the uploaded picture. And then last one we will test it with will be a sport car. Let's see again, the quality is not the best one, but I think we could maybe make this better with some settings and so on. Now you can also download it and in .glb file, again, I didn't need to set it, it was default. Now we can also try the reverse engineering on our application we created. So let's again try this. I will first put our prompt to create Next.js application like this one, which prompts I should use. What are the most important parts of this application? Now I will wait for the generation and it generated a really general prompt. Didn't consider any key implementation, stack used and so on. So I will again specify more that please include the stack and key implementations from this application. And now I got a much better prompt. So with this one, if I will paste it to AI for the next time, it will know about the key implementations and which API it should use and so on. This could help you if you would like to create a similar application or maybe with a different stack, you can just send this prompt to AI then to update it. Maybe if you want to use a different provider for the 3D model generation, or you would like to have your prompt as detailed as possible to not run into errors.